So I just uh, want to share something with you. Sort of breaks down the basic compliance as far as how the FDA operates, uh, the Center for Tobacco Products. Shows you graphically what's going on. So it says protecting public health, ensuring compliance with federal tobacco product regulation. Every day in the United States, 1,300 plus people die each day due to cigarette use. And as you can see the rest. So as it says, to protect the public health, especially youth, from the dangers of tobacco use, the Center for Tobacco Products Office of Compliance and Enforcement ensures that regulated industry complies with federal tobacco product regulation using a three-pronged approach. One, develop and provide compliance training and education. Two, monitor regulated industries' compliance with the law through surveillance, uh, inspections, and investigations. Three, initiate advers advisory and enforcement actions such as issuing warning letters and seeking civil money penalties against non-compliant industry as appropriate. Compliance and enforcement activities include but are not limited to inspecting manufacturing facilities and retail establishments, reviewing industry submissions, registrations, and listings which are due on by uh, September 30th, 2017. Reviewing print and online advertising, so they scan all over every place, all over the internet. Handling potential violation complaints from the public, like my three complaints I have, so far that is. Uh, monitoring uh, promotional activities, I like on YouTube, with all the vape reviews, etc., etc. Educating retailers and small businesses on federal tobacco regulations. When the Center for Tobacco Products observes a violation, the CTP takes action. We generally issue a warning letter to a, comp to a company for first-time violations. Center for Tobacco Products may subsequently initiate enforcement action for companies that continue to violate the law, such as civil money penalty, that's a fine, injunction, no tobacco sale order, that is, they, you can't sell any of your products. Criminal prosecution or seizure of your products. Enforcing the law as of January 1st, 2017. Now, you have to understand, this all includes combusted cigarettes, you know, you know, pipes, and uh, pipe tobacco, that is, and uh, cigars, as well as vape products. So as of January 1st, 2017, Inspections of tobacco retailers have been conducted 714,000 of them. A lot of them. A lot of them. Warning letters have been issued to retailers following compliance check inspections. 53,000 have been issued since January 1st, 2017. Civil money penalties have been issued to retailers for violating the law. 10,000 of them. Warning letters have been issued to online retailers stemming from surveillance activities. That's a, they, they conduct these surveillance, they, they watch them, you know. 501. Ensuring that tobacco products stay out of the hands of kids to help end youth access to tobacco products, OCE investigates complaints from the public about potential violations, like my three complaints and as many as will wind up going out. The public plays a vital role in helping us to identify possible violations of the laws we enforce. Protect kids by watching out for these violations, such as sales of cigarettes, sales of flavored cigarettes, or flavored cigarette tobacco, uh, offers of free samples of cigarettes. And this pertains to vapor products as well, just because it says cigarettes don't mean it don't pertain to us. Offers of free samples of smokeless tobacco unless in a qualified adult-only facility. Reporting violations to help Center for Tobacco Products. Fill out the potential tobacco product violations reporting form, which I did. You can do it by the email. You can, do, you can call them, or like I did, I sent a letter to them, as I showed you in the videos. 
Determining a course of action. After, after FDA reviews a complaint, next steps may include performing an inspection of a tobacco product manufacturer, distributor, or importer, conducting a compliance check inspection of a tobacco retailer, initiating monitoring and surveillance of tobacco product manufacturers or retailers' website. So I'm sure that's what they're doing probably right here more than anything. But my three complaints, they're looking at those websites, like Vandy Vape, all those multiple vendors that I reported, as well as Vaporized Nomads. And then it gives you all these links you can link onto. And this was the last update on January 2017. But it's amazing how many they've issued. I bet. Inspection. Now, of course, this also includes combusted cigarettes and all that other stuff. But 714,000 of them. Inspections. It's not like just a couple thousand of them. 714,000. Amazing. So they're out there, believe me. And as time goes by, after this September 30th, 2017, where they have, the manufacturers have to submit their product listings, it's going to be ramped up even more. The FDA will probably take the FDA to sift through all that information, probably take them about 90 days to do so. But by, by the beginning of 2018, they'll have a very good idea what's in the market and what's being sold as far as vapor products. And then they're going to be, uh, well, like I said, you better have all your ducks in order. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, just want to share this with you guys. Guys, have a good one. Bye.